John, in our private conversations, you once said something to me very interesting. You said, our courts are our government. I was wondering if you could explain what you mean by that. Well, to govern is to control, okay? So th this is where our society is controlled, in the courts. And uh, so, I I in fact, uh, a fellow called Sir William Blackstone, uh, he wrote the commentaries on uh, the laws of England, massive volumes. He's regarded as the guru of English law, and he said very, very clearly that trial by jury is the glory of English law that protects your, uh, your liberties and your property. Okay, trial by jury is that, nothing else. So, uh, uh, of course our government, because if people can govern themselves, like uh, Jefferson said, if people can't govern themselves and educate them, so you go along to the court to nullify bad laws, to protect your property, protect your rights, uh, and generally protect your family and your country in the courts. And so you, this is where you've got to go. The courts are the government. Not, the parliament is not government. Even though they say, oh, it's the Howard government, it's the Rudd government, that is a lie. Okay, because they are not the government. In fact, parliament means parley, to, to talk or debate. From this the is French a, language. This, this is where you uh, discuss issues which are brought uh, into the forum, okay, and you draft <laughs> a, a bill for an act, okay, and when uh, both houses have a majority and pass it, then uh, that bill for, for an act uh, to impose GST or whatever it is, that is then taken to government house, okay? This is the way it used to be when we had a monarchy because you had a, a, a governor appointed by uh, the, the sovereign and so forth and then that governor says, oh yes this will quite, uh, I'll give it royal consent on behalf of the Queen, okay? So government as it stands now in our, our artificial uh, democracy uh, is in government house, not in parliament house, okay? But overruling all that is the fact that we have a democracy, we have a commonwealth, with the people have sovereignty. Sovereignty is the ultimate authority to make and impose laws. So anything which is uh, in dispute, even if it comes uh, through the parliaments and so forth and is put in place as a statute law, you can defeat that if you think it's unfair. And if 12 of your equals unanimously decide, yes, that's, that's just not, that's not on, okay? So all the time, Courts, uh, the last resort. In fact, uh, there's a, a famous saying from an American politician that there are four boxes in defense of liberty. The first one is the soap box, which you get out and you parade, you write letters, and <laughs> make a lot of noise and beat drums. Speaker's so, corner. Yeah, that's the soap box. And the second one is the ballot box, where you elect people to represent you, okay, and go into a, a house of debate and draw up uh, good laws for the uh, good government of the people, okay? And if that fails, then your third option is the jury box, okay? So we have you, the soap box, we have the ballot box and the jury box? Jury box, yes. And this is where you take uh, grievances and so forth and you, 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 you lay out all the, the facts and the jury, the 12 year equals, who are competent, independent, impartial, they judge uh, the evidence and they ca come up with a judgment or a resolution for it, okay? There's a fourth box. Yes. We don't want the third box. The third box is the ammo box. This is where people resort to violence. That's, that's counterproductive. Ammunition. Oh, that's so stupid, you know? Because that's the excuse all, all the tyrants want because they, and they come down on you heavily and, and, and they wipe you out. So. Once you resort to that fourth box, you're gone. The, la the last uh, box we have in defense of liberty is the jury box. And in fact, there was a, uh, a very prominent judge in, in England, uh, Lord Thomas Denning, he said, the purpose of a court in a civilized society is the vindication of men's rights and the enforcement of just causes. That's exactly why we've got to use our courts for the, for the government of the country. We can govern ourselves if we know how to do it.
Do you think the, there is a risk that juries are not infallible, juries can make mistakes? The reason I ask this, and I will openly admit I'm veering a bit off topic here, we've had some very high profile court cases in recent years in America, and the issue of the race of the defendant, the issue of the race of the jurors has been brought into question. Oh, well, an African-American may be more lenient yeah. on an African-American. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel there are any risks involved in uh, emphasising the use of juries? Oh, you, you can have a, a, a corrupted jury and you can have a, a bad judgement, but you've got the opportunity to go back. Yes. And, and overthrow that one with another jury. That other, the second jury can nullify the, the first judgment. On okay. appeal? Yeah. But see, what they do here is they say, oh, if you want to appeal that, you've got to appeal to a judge, you know? A judge has got no jurisdiction. You, <laughs> so what, what, once you get a, a dud decision in a lower court, <laughs> they say, oh, you can appeal to another judge, or, and you go right through, there's still any judges, you know? And judges are not to be trusted, even the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights, which was 1689, it says that diverse uh, evil, councillors, judges and ministers were endeavouring to subvert and extirpate the laws and liberties of the people, okay? So in other words, they knew back in uh, the 17th century that you can't trust judges. Even the Bible says, woe to your lawyers, you know? That's, <laughs> you've got to uh, put your trust in your, your, your fellow countrymen, providing they are honest and true. And if you get a dud decision from a dud jury, you got the opportunity to appeal to another jury to uh, nullify or offset that bad judgment. Because you've always got to, you've got to stay alive. You've got to keep on fighting until you get justice. And if you get uh, you know, three juries in a row, <laughs> uh, say, yes, this place has got to be hung, that's the end of it. So, but you've got, you've got three consecutive jury judgments for that to, to stand.